Hi guys, I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this super tasty and very healthy and fast chicken paillard. And if you love this recipe, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get started. This chicken paillard recipe is so incredible because it's really well balanced. You've got your protein from your chicken, you've got your healthy vegetable from your arugula and your tomatoes, and if you wanna add a clean carb, just put a little brown rice on the side. What's especially great about this recipe is that you can make it in a big portion for a group of people, or you can make just one chicken breast just for yourself. First thing we're gonna do is cut this chicken breast in half. Now keep in mind, I'm only making enough for two people, so each person would get one half. If you're making for four people, you would get two chicken breasts, which thus would make four pieces. The best technique for cutting this chicken breast in half is start by taking your knife, making it horizontal to your cutting board, and then put it about halfway up on the chicken piece, and then start to do the cut back and forth. And as you're going, what you're gonna do is with your left hand or your opposite hand, you're gonna start peeling the top piece away. And then if you get stuck a little bit, what you can do is I just take it like this, I go totally vertical, and then I finish my cut just like that. And what you should be left with is one chicken breast cut really nicely in half. Next thing we're gonna do is pound these chicken breasts nice and thin. The thickness that we want is about a quarter of an inch. Don't have to worry about that perfect, precise measurement, but just get them as thin as you can without the chicken breast falling apart. So to do that, we take one sheet of plastic wrap, and we are going to cover the chicken breasts completely cover them with the plastic wrap. And then I like to also just kind of form the plastic wrap around each piece, just like that. The reason why you wanna keep these covered is because the plastic wrap will keep the chicken pieces from flying and spraying raw chicken all over your uh, kitchen counter. Next thing you're gonna do, take your mallet, or you can use a heavy pot, cast iron skillet, anything that's got a little uh, heft to it with a flat edge, and start to pound the chicken. What you're gonna notice is, is that as the chicken gets thinner, it also gets wider. So it's gonna take up a little bit more room. And what you should be left with is, voila, two very thin chicken breasts. Now we're gonna season the chicken breasts. First thing we're gonna do is put a little olive oil on both sides. This measurement is about a teaspoon, but really don't overthink it. Just put enough olive oil to cover the chicken breasts on both sides. I'm gonna rub it in. Just like that. Now keep in mind that as often as I've done this, I even find that one half of the chicken is usually a little thinner the, than the other. So just be careful when you're picking them up so that the chicken doesn't fall apart. Now your hands are gonna be covered in olive oil, so I'm gonna wash up real quick. Now we're gonna salt and pepper both sides. Don't worry again about the precise measurement of the salt and pepper, just do it to taste. Now we're gonna add this incredibly magical ingredient. This is lemon zest. Lemon zest gives the chicken this brightness and this pop of flavor that is so classic chicken paillard. So it's really important. Now let's flip over the chicken pieces and do the same thing on the other side. Now we're gonna take these chicken pieces and dredge them in flour. You can use any kind of flour, just all purpose flour is totally fine. The exact measurement uh, of the amount of flour that you're gonna use is not important. So I'm just taking about a third of a cup and I'm putting it on this plate here. Just wanna shake it around and get it kind of nice and even. Maybe knock any of these big pieces out. All right, so all you have to do is take the chicken pieces, lightly press into the flour. And we wanna coat both sides, of course. Sometimes I take a little bit of flour here and I'll just kind of sprinkle it on the top, and then press it in. And then I give it a little tap to shake the excess off and put it back on my cutting board. Now it's time to cook the chicken pieces. I'm using a cast iron skillet. You can use a simple nonstick pan. Whatever you've got is totally fine. Let's add a little oil to the pan. I love using cast iron skillet for something like this because cast iron just gets so hot and it gives the meat such a good sear on the outside. We're gonna cook these chicken pieces for about three minutes on each side until they're golden brown and fully cooked through. All right, so I think this is ready for a flip. Let's see how we did. 
There we go. Okay, this is exactly what we want to see. Come in and take a, get a shot of this, Anne. So we've got this really nice crispy exterior here. Everything is looking perfectly brown. That's exactly what we want. While this chicken is finishing cooking, I'm gonna prepare the shallots for the sauce. We're just gonna dice up one half of a shallot. All right, we're back to the chicken. It's looking absolutely perfect. I think it's done. Let's just give it a little check with our meat thermometer. So we're looking for 160 degrees here. Yep, 170, we are perfect there. 180 there, perfect. Okay, let's take it off. We're gonna set the chicken pieces aside as we work on the sauce. Now we're moving on to the sauce and we're gonna use the same pan that we cooked the chicken in to do it. We're adding our shallots to the pan and we're only gonna saute them for about 30 seconds so it's really quick. Now don't worry if you see some brown bits on the bottom of the pan, that's from the chicken. It might even be a little bit of chicken fat. It's gonna make everything taste better so leave it in there. If you guys haven't cooked with shallots before, shallots are in the onion family, so they're very similar to onions. They're just a little bit more of like a delicate flavor. Now we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of chicken stock. The chicken broth is going to deglaze the pan and we're gonna let it simmer for about one to two minutes. Just stir it up and get any of those brown bits stuck from the bottom of the pan moving. The sauce has been simmering for about one to two minutes, so what we're gonna do now is turn off the heat. We're gonna add in our two tablespoons of butter half a teaspoon of fresh chopped thyme. You can also use dry thyme if you don't have fresh. And I'm gonna add the juice of a half a lemon. Now I probably won't add all of this because lemon juice is actually a pretty strong flavor, so just a little bit. I'm gonna stir it around and let it all come together. To finish this sauce off, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Just a pinch is fine. Okay. It's ready to go. Before I get to the plating, if you've loved this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my healthy recipes playlist. All right, let me show you how I plate it. The first thing to do is to grab a handful of arugula. I love to give this chicken a nice bed of greens. Now we're gonna add some cherry tomatoes. We've already have these guys. We just drop them in here. What I like to do is put some on the bottom just like this, and then I keep a couple on standby to put around the chicken after, and that just makes everything look more beautiful. Here's our chicken. Put it right in the middle here. Now, I'm gonna take the rest of the tomatoes and put them around just like this, giving the dish like a really beautiful red color. The red of the tomatoes and the green of the arugula makes such a beautiful visual contrast. Now we're gonna drizzle our sauce all over the chicken, and this is really important. Let the sauce go over the arugula and the tomatoes too. All right, guys, let's give it a taste. So I'm gonna make sure that I get a combo bite here. I want the chicken and a little bit of arugula and one of these juicy tomatoes. Mmm. I love chicken paillard. This chicken paillard recipe is so incredibly tasty. The lemons mixed with the shallots, it's just the perfect balance. Guys, I know you're gonna love this one. Definitely give it a try. I'll see you in the next video.